Hello, people. I am Jabby Koei, joined by Sintel Koei. It's your boy! So, I got a lot of uh, requests on the YouTubes recently. I went through the community uh, post that I put up, asked you guys what you want me to react to next. I got over 1,400 responses. 1,400? And, yeah, and I looked through them. If this is something you guys are not interested in, I'm sorry, but like, I saw this, I'm like, oh, that could be really fun. This is IT Industry Jokes 2.0 English Stand-Up Comedy by Sanjay Manakhtala. I like took a quick snippet at it, a quick peep, quick peek. I previewed a small portion of it. That means he cheated. Just a small portion of it. Just I wanted to see if it was something I'd be into, if it was in English or whatever. It's in English as far as I know, so let's check this out. What is your name, miss, in the back in the yellow? Gina. Gina. Like, for real? <laughs> Gina, okay. What do you do, Gina? I'm in the back. Why are you picking on me? <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Gina, Gina, Gina. Let me tell you something about the IT Guy show. There's no concept of backbenchers over here, okay? Right? They sat in the front, they get rewarded. This show is called The IT Guy because I myself am an IT guy. How many IT people here? Yes, yes, I love you. Still smiling, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Which company do you work for, sir? None of them. None of them all, huh? Which one? Uh, I'm actually a consulting, not an IT guy. You're actually, that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I'm actually a consulting pro, not IT. Who do you consult for, Infosys? Yeah, uh, that's why, but I'm a consulting pro. I was with, a, I was with an IT company and uh, I moved from, from America. I moved from America to India, and my client was Bank of America. Hey, that's, yeah. Yeah. Consulting. Okay? Yeah. That's what it is, all right? That's the truth right there. That's what I did. I was all excited. I'm going to do outsourcing model. I'm going to be amazing. I'm going to be solution technical consultant. Where am I going to work? Call center. What the hell? But it was nice, fine. I ended up being, after a year here, I was the guy. Oftentimes, anybody, anybody worked in call center? No? Yeah, I did, okay. <laughs> that laugh was evil. He's like, ha! Ah. He's like, I knew I was better than this, Juthia. I knew it! I knew I was better than him. BPO <laughs> poo. I knew it, right? I was the, the guy. Subtitles are interesting. But I wasn't embarrassed. I <laughs> right? liked doing it. I was the guy. That, you know, oftentimes if you work in BPO in call center, okay, you get a racist person on the other line and they want to talk to an American. They're angry. Their call is coming to India, the Philippines. They want to speak to an American. So we had a guy call in and he was like, yeah, my ATM card is not working. This is bullshit. And my coworker, thank you for calling Bank of America. <laughs> You're talking to David. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not. This is bullshit. Get me an American. And they give me the phone. <laughs> I'm eating my dosa. Okay. I'm like, Swiggy, what the hell? Okay, fine. But I put it down. And I'm like, all right, fine. I was like, hi, 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 hi. I'm an American. And he's like, what's your name? And I got defensive. It was like, Sanjay. <laughs> it's like, this is bullshit. <laughs> like, get me somebody with an American name. Damn. I was like, okay, fine, fine, fine. But you know, hang on, let me just, what's your name? He's like, eh, ah, Manjunath. <laughs> <laughs> Manjunath? Are you kidding me? Manjunath has a problem that he's calling an outsource? Are you serious? And I was like, why do not? What the hell, bro? I dropped protocol. I got out of script. I was like, Munch not. Hold my dosa. I was like, Munch not. This oh is some dog. shit. I was like, Munch not. You're Indian. I'm Indian. Why the hell do you not want to talk to an Indian person about your technical issue, right? And he's like, because I'm from India, bro. And I was like, yeah, and? And he's like, Every time there's a technical issue and I ask somebody to fix it, 
they give me the same bullshit answer. And I was like, well, what's the answer? And he's like, sad, Sarvar issue is there. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sarvar issue is, you know, server issue is there. A way of life in our country. Server issue is there. I went to get my other card 14 times. You know why the first 13 times? Seven. Yes. Wow. Okay. I went to get my driver's license seven times. You know why the first six? Seven. Yes, dude. My wife was like, look, we got married. We got to make it official. We are going to the court at the BDA complex, all right? You are not getting out of this. We are going to make it official. No taking it back. And I was like, fine. And we go. There was no server issue. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was working. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's issue when you need service. <laughs> That's what we need, right? It's terrible, dude. It's terrible, man. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I'll say, the last thing I'll say is... Uh... <laughs> That's not pretty good. That's pretty good. Married six years, sir? How did you ask your wife to marry you? Normal arranged marriage. How did you, your father ask your wife to marry you? <laughs> huh? Oh, just, okay, nice, man, nice. It's tough, though, you know? I'm married now. Marriage is difficult. Four months I've been married. I'm already bitching about it. <laughs> Four months. <laughs> like, people are like, why did you get married? As a content, I think. <laughs> like, I mean, I have to, right? Clap if you're married. Content. He said content. <laughs> so how long have you been married, miss? Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> you're still smiling. Love that. Seventeen years. Where is your husband? Exactly. You oh. Learn something. Sir, that's the way to do it. Oh my goodness. Eleven years. The future. Alright. Your wife is going to be sitting right here. Don't worry, all right? Oh, man, marriage is crazy, dude. Like, you know, any doctors here? Anybody? Nurses, doctors, any medical? Health, your healthcare, right? Healthcare technical stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Same thing, dude. Just let it go. My wife is a doctor, you know, and it's tough as an IT guy <laughs> to compare your life with the life of somebody who does something important. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh my you God. will never I have a whole outshine. thing on this. You will never win. Because my wife will come home from a long day, 15, 16 hours. Jesus right? Christ. And I'll be I'll be at home just chilling. <laughs> hanging out. You know? And my wife like, hi baby, how was your day? She was like, Oh my god, Sanjay it was so terrible. Here, hold my bag. Like it was just horrible. Like this kid came in, he had cancer. Oh, we God. found the tumor very early, oh, Jesus. but we saved his life. We had to operate for 14 hours, mm. but thank goodness I caught it when I did because now he's gonna have a long, healthy life and he's gonna survive. And it's just so rewarding and so amazing. And yeah, how was your day? Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Some sad about his shoes there. <laughs> thank you guys very much. Well, that's great how he brought that back because the server issue thing wasn't funny to me at first, but then he brought it back at the end. That was funny. He said the thing about the wedding registry. Dude, that caught me so off. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's setting it up where it's like it's always breaking, and then he's like, it was working that day. Yeah, yeah, no, of I'm course. Married. Absolutely. Now I'm married yeah. four months. For life! That was good. It wasn't like hitting me with strong ha-has all the way through, but like he had some good uh, ideas in there that I liked a lot, and like he had some moments that tickled me really strong. Wow. The doctor thing at the end, I especially uh, relate to. I think I spoke to you about this, where there was a woman that I, I was interested in who is a lawyer. Okay. And she's not just a lawyer. Mm -hmm. She's like... Like... In her area, she is top of the class. Okay. And, you know, I'm a YouTuber. So I was like, so <laughs> when she, when, when, so when he, we'd hang out and she'd talk about her day, I'm like, ah, cool. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> I might just keep yeah. making these videos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't begin to compare my life to your life because your life is just so much more important. Not that your life is more important, but what you do. I guess just in terms of society, it's more accepted as something that's like a legitimate real important requires education yeah. profession yeah right whereas i'm doing i'm just selling my goofy Fuck. personality <laughs> you know so when she goes so what have you been up to i'm like well i, I watched this this video about these two guys that's called Dread Indian. They do goofy videos. <laughs> we had a whole conversation for 20 minutes about how we related to it. And then meanwhile, she's trying to get people off of life sentences. Yeah. And like drug related crimes. And then like one, she told me that they I'm not even gonna mention here because it's too too dark. The things that she goes through, I'm like, yeah, that, whew, like I could not ever, mm -mm. as cool as you are, I'm not gonna put myself through that conversation for the next 50 years. It's yeah. just not not smart. So that's some, some good old fashioned perspective for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you knew this, but I used to actually do IT. Well, I knew you did, you worked at CompUSA. Not that too. I did work. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I, did, well. I, didn't yeah, know that, yeah. I worked for a company uh, that used to own Orkin, which was an insect company, and I worked in their IT department. So okay. when people had problems figuring out how their computers worked, they would call me and I would get all of the complaints. So I kind of can understand somewhat where, where, where he's kind of going through. I am not outsourced in India, but you do get some weird and interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, even yeah. even being in the US, you're gonna get, you're, I mean, in India, you're gonna get a different kind of the same thing. Yeah. You're still getting problems though, because you're basically like the police where you're getting all the negative information coming yeah. your way. Yeah, and, and, and what's crazy is I say like 80% of my job was just answering dumb questions. And the number one thing that fixed every issue, uh, did you uh, turn the computer off and oh then turn it back on again? Bruh. Employee of the week, baby. Really? I'm telling you, man, I gave solid value to the people that called in. It's funny you should say that because like one of the last things I did in casting was actually tech support. Like every time people had issues with their computers, I'm like, so um, let's start restarting. Yeah. And that usually resolves the issue. Like <laughs> Always Nine works. out of 10 times. I'm like, yeah. how are you not knowing this on your own by this point? I've been giving you the same answer over and over again. Tech is hard. It's brutal, man. The thing is, People don't understand what they're dealing with, no. especially when you're dealing with Mac mm -hmm. computers today. Like mm -hmm. people don't understand how to fix it themselves. It's holding up whatever they're trying to do and yeah. they're already impatient and frustrated. Yeah. I get the same way. Yeah. I get the same way about my internet. When it's not working, I'm like, my livelihood depends on that shit working. I'm calling already loaded with a minigun of rage. Yeah. I pay for this like well over like what the normal person pays. Yeah. It should be working all the time. What the and I try to be empathetic. I'm like, I get that this is not your fault. It's not a you thing. It's a, it's a server issue thing. I understand how to make it work. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking find you and I'm gonna strangle you. Cause I know it's like a flick of the dial on their end to make my internet work better nine out of 10 times. I have all the empathy in the world for, for tech people though. Cause like I have, besides you, like I've had other friends who've worked in tech and I've done the tech side of casting. It can be brutal. Like that's why I hate printers. <laughs> I just hate printers. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out, and thank you to Sanjay for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. And uh, you guys do subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, he's only got 104,000 subscribers as of this recording, so make sure to give him a subscribe and a like on the original video if you enjoyed it. And tell us your stories in the comments below if you work in IT, any tales you'd like to share. And uh, check out Sintel on social media. What's up? Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time. <laughs> That's how you sound to me. You could do the outro, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, outro. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Sintel. Check out my whole boy, Jabby Goway. Please support Sanjay. My, my, I, I don't want to be disrespectful and, and mess up somebody's name. Please, um, so, yeah, you just go ahead and do it. You're All better right. at me. You're All right, thank you, me. Sanjay, for allowing us to react to this. You guys, subscribe to his channel if you haven't done so, and uh, support him, give him a like. Check out Sintel on the social media. Subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't done that already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Kawe. This is... It's your boy, Sintel. Peace out.